Oh my god, what? Two Talon? Ugh. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? <clears throat> that, that response emote made me immediately think of, um... <sighs> Cappy, what's the animated movie with the lion and the giraffe and the hippo? Oh, Madagascar. Madagascar, thank you. It reminded me of that scene in the first Madagascar when King Julian's just like, Oh my god, you're so annoying! And then the little hamster was all like, eek! He's <laughs> a hamster. Just another lemur? No, well, no, he was like a monkey, but I don't think he was a lemur, because he was like, pretty sure he was brown colored, as opposed to like black and white. Forgot that Madagascar was a place, so when I looked it up, it just came about the country. Oh. <laughs> well, that guy's dead. Mort. Yeah, there you go. He was a rhinoceros. You're all like, what? Why does that have a little thing next to it? <clears throat> this stuff does look slightly different than the chitin armor. He's a mouse lemur, so it's like a different kind of lemur. Still a lemur, though, technically. Well, yeah, this kind. Which makes sense for his coloration. Oh, yeah, okay. It's almost like an eye-eye. Yeah, 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 very simple. Eye-eye's got them long fingers, because they they gonna get in there. <laughs> Was that don't wear loose fitting shorts because I'll get in there? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> what kind of a what kind of a threat? You thought eye eyes are more like sloths? No, I think they're more like uh I think they're more like lemurs. <clears throat> I mean, I'm sure there's some relation there. They're all mammals, so there's going to be some similarities, but... <clears throat> yeah, I've already come here. Just nobody was here at the time. Yeah, an I.I. I is a lemur. Okay. Get wrecked, John! <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> Like, I'm all proud of myself. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> eat shit, nerd. You're just like, wow. You're getting, like, really angrily, like, passionate about types of monkeys. Somebody ban him! <laughs> oh, that's so stupid. Biology wasn't your study of expertise. It wasn't mine either, to be honest. Haha, <laughs> 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 look at this nerd going back for his doctorate. I didn't even finish an associate's. <laughs> Lol, nerd. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me today? Hey, there's a book I haven't read. Where were you when the dragon broke? Yeah, I'll take that book. I'm assuming that the where were you where the dragon broke is read to the same tune of Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf? When the dragon broke, dragon broke, dragon broke. Early in the morning. No, that's something else.
the flu shot mess with my brain? <clears throat> you know, I'm going to tell you something that's going to surprise you. I think I was dumb before that. Sorry, I killed this lady. I got to loot her real quick. Hold on. Your turn. Oh, I have missed decapitations. They're so good. Just close that again. open. Also, who's excited for the Netflix Assassin's Creed series? Ooh, that looks good. You might watch it. Oh, I'm definitely watching it. <clears throat> I join you in death. Hey. Video game adaptations are usually terrible. Well, you know, The Witcher was really good. So. I'm also happy that they chose the correct storyline to do a show about. You didn't watch but five minutes of The Witcher? Wow, you're missing out, bro. Witcher is good. You thought about rewatching it? I'm going to rewatch it. Like when season two starts getting closer, I'll rewatch it again. I may even go back and reread the books. The books are excellent. Obviously, I prefer the books over the show, but the show is really good. <clears throat> okay, uh, I guess we'll go back to town now. Yeah, you can't get to the volcano. The volcano's like over here somewhere. I know you were asking about that the other day. You might also like Legend of the Seeker. It's Witcher-esque. Wait, is that... Isn't that the Sword... Uh, are you talking about the Sword of Truth series? Yes. I've read like the first four or five books in that series. Time to die. 
it was pretty good, but it got really... Right around book four or five, it got really into, like, less about what's going on in the world and more about, oh my god, are these characters gonna bone? That was, like, the integral story arc of that story, of, like, book four or five, was, like, like, these two characters are are in love with each other, and they, they want to get together, but they're having sex with other people now. And I was just like, oh my god. <laughs> Why is this whole book about this love triangle? There are points of Game of Thrones that are like that. Uh, more the show than the books. But I'm also not going to say you're wrong. Uh, what I will say is that the entire, the entire book is not built around that. There may be an entire story arc that's that way, like with one character. They follow this one character with that through a book. But there'll be like three or four other characters in that same book that don't have a story like that. Whereas, these were the two main characters, and there's not really anybody else the book follows. <laughs> but it was just that one book. Like, the other three or four books that I read were, all, were really good. It's just the, this one title was very, like, romance novel. And it kind of lost it kind of lost me part way through and I was just like I'm gonna finish this book just because it's the principle of the thing but I don't think I'm gonna read the others maybe read the others I mean maybe I'll have to go back and like reread the series because I've forgotten a lot of it but well what happened were you able to track down Vendel then it's finally over this chick right here is listening in I sent to assist you Damn it. I was hoping to protect our people by sending them, not end up with casualties. To think that Vendel would stoop so low as to hire those fetchers. I'm glad you killed him. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. Counselor Morvane will be quite pleased when he hears about this. You might think it's all perfume and roses now that your mind's open. But all I see. Is a new security oh yeah, I talked to you about that already. Follow me, and I'll take you to the council. He'll take me to the counselor himself. Severin Manor. We're gonna need to go back there. So you can speak to him yourself. Your actions here have been a blessing to us all, Sergio. I don't know what you're playing at, Lover, but something about you just doesn't add up. Understandable, considering the differences between us. I'm not talking about that. Could I help you? Excuse me, Councillor Morve. I have some wonderful news. Adriel, I haven't seen a smile on your face like that in a long time. This visitor has single-handedly dealt with a threat that could have ended your life. Vendel, Telesu, and Miri Severin weren't who they appeared to be. I'm afraid they were here to avenge Villa Ulan's death. Vendel? But he's done so much for Raven Rock. How could this be possible? They did it to gain our confidence, Counselor. They had us all fooled. I should have been more vigilant. I'm sorry. Don't say that. It's not your fault, old friend. And you, step forward. What you've done for me, for all of Raven Rock, goes far beyond what I would have expected from a traveler to our town. For this, you have my deepest gratitude. Now, 
I'm certain Adril was prepared to reward you appropriately for everything you've done. However, since a bit of coin hardly seems like enough, I've decided to provide something more substantial. Since the Severin family, or whoever they were, turned out to be criminals, their property is now forfeit. As counselor, I hereby award you Severin Manor and everything contained within. Nice. You've earned your citizenship here, and I hope you'll consider staying with us as a member of our community. Awesome. So now this that's basically the Thane ship, I guess. He's given me the house. You also Thank really you enjoyed the Ender's Game series? I the Ender's Game the series is probably one of my favorite series. With the has has he written any more the books the in in like the last five years? He has? Okay. It's like, I finished the whole series, and then it ended like on a cliffhanger. And I was all like, oh, I want to know what happens to Bean, I think? Was the, the last character they dealt with? Both the main, yeah, I finished the Ender and the and the Bean series, and I think the last book I read was Bean traveling with his kids to go find Ender. I'm pretty sure that's what I, that's what the last book I read was. Oh look, the dead people are still in my house. So I get to keep the cor the corpses? That's interesting. Yep, okay. Is that book the same as the Ender Game movie? Yes. And, uh, I think the ending of the book was a little better than the ending of the movie, but it was pretty close. It was pretty accurate. Once again, I liked the book better than the movie, but the, again, the movie was good. I'm not gonna bash the movie. He's, he's written seven books, including multiple short stories in the last five years. Whoa. All right, well, I'm obviously behind then. I want to say my favorite book of the series so far was the second one. Speaker for the Dead, I think. Speaker for the Dead was amazing. Oh, it's, you'll like the book even better then, too, Talon. The book is... The book emphasizes that more than the, than the movie did. Yeah, he's one of those authors that... I hate the person, but I like the books he writes. Like, he seems like a garbage human being, but he, he writes really good sci-fi. <laughs> With the Aspawn threat taken care of, I can give my men the rest they deserve. Well <laughs> the Ender's, Ga Ender's Game has three main series, and he proceeds to list four names. <laughs> I don't think I read any of the prequels. I don't remember them. Those are the ones that dealt mostly with the Maori guy, right? He was the main one. Oh, Fleet School is a new one? Okay. Well, that would explain that. I forget the dude's name, the Maori guy that trained Ender in the movie. 
I'm pretty sure that was the Formic Wars main character. Mazer Rackham, yeah, there you go. Man, I now I want to go back and reread the Ender's Game series. Normally with a series like that, I tend to read them in in published date. Because he has multiple storylines, that and and the two storylines kind of crisscross back and forth a couple of times, so I tend to re I tend to read them in publication date order, because that prevents you from getting any unintended spoilers. What the hell is this? All right, well, whatever. He's written a lot lately. I'll have to do some research. That's Orson Scott Card, right? Yes. And he's he's the douchebag author, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. That's what or I thought. At least one of one yeah, he's not the only author that is a douchebag, but And I don't know, he may have changed recently, but I'm not going to hold my breath. He definitely was a douchebag. Why, why is he that bad? Uh, he is, or at least was, vehemently anti-LGBT. He's LDS, he's Mormon. Oh, he, yeah, he's... Well, I mean, there's Mormons that, that are okay with it, but... Oh, he's still anti-LGBTQ? Okay. Well, then. He's hardcore Mormon. Is, is, well, he's Hasidic Mormon? I don't know the right term. At least in, like, as of 2013, I welcome you, friend of the skull. Was he? Okay. Which isn't that long ago. No, it's not. I am in no mood to talk, outsider. One of the skull has gone missing. He is Baldor Iron Shaper. As our only smith, Baldor is very important to the village. Oh yeah, there's like articles on from from about the like two years. Oh okay. I do not remember Baldor acting strangely. Although now that you ask, I did see something in the woods on the day he disappeared. I saw two elves in the far distance dragging something behind them. Hunters often visit our land, so I thought little of it. South and west. If your road takes you that way, perhaps you could search for any sign of Baldor. The skull would be great. Search for Baldor. Well, I can do that. Great, great oh, that explains why he's... So devout. So devout, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, that's that's one of those that's one of those situations where you have to learn to be able to separate the person from the product. And not everyone wants to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everybody wants to do it. That's like I've always been a really big fan of. Uh, for as long as I can remember, I've been a really big fan of Bill Cosby's comedy. And then, of course, all the stuff happened recently in the last few years with Bill Cosby, and I was like, okay, well, that changes my opinion on him personally. 
I still find his comedy hilarious, but... I may not like the individual anymore. And I get that a lot of people can't do that. But it's the same thing with, with Orson Scott Card. Like, when I... When, uh, when I learned that he was extremely anti-LGBTQ, I was like, wow, he sounds like a terrible person. <laughs> his Spanish fly story is funny. Spanish fly story. I don't think I've heard that one. Going to the dentist? Yeah. That's the whole dentist pick on your teeth harder than you ever would. Yeah. I went and saw him. He came to our town. Jeez. It was, it was like right after high school. So it was like... 18 years ago or so he came to our city and I went to go watch him it was hilarious because a bunch of people in the crowd were like tell this story tell that story and he's like shut up He told him to shut the fuck up in a really nice way, but <laughs> it was definitely a shut the hell up. Are you talking about Orson Scott card, John? I don't doubt it. He's a he's a really good author. All right, we're in the abandoned lodge. Here, Baldor. Hey, buddy. Here to rescue. I am here to rescue you, but I'm gonna steal stuff first, okay? I have my priorities. Outsider, I remember you. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Thank the old maker that you have come. These accursed elves have taken me from my home. No, no, my wounds are not serious. I don't think the elves were trying to harm me. Perhaps they intended to frighten me. At worst, I have a few bruises to show for my ordeal. I do not know this word, Thalmor, but if you mean the elves, they were trying to learn the secrets of forging Stalrin. Their leader, an elf named Ankarian, has a map. He says that it shows the location of a hidden source of Stalrin. They have a ship. They took me there and showed me the map. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. Please. Do not let Ankarian make his weapons. 
kill him or let him live. But take the map from him. It belongs with the skull. Okay. We'll return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. And thank you. May the All Maker bless your days. Well, let's head to the northern side of the island then. I mean, I guess I could go that way. That seems uh, sloped enough to allow me to walk up it. I'd also like to get Freya back, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill her dad. And I get the sneaking suspicion that it's going to make it so that I can't get her to hang out with me anymore. If push comes to shove, I'll just go get... Um, Vampire Lady, Serana. Oh, For some reason I looked over and saw that thing about Spanish Fly again, and it reminded me of the Spanish Prisoner. It's a good movie. It's a really good movie. Have either of you guys watched the Spanish Prisoner? So good. I'm pretty sure you'd remember it if you saw it. It's got Steve Martin in a non-comedic role. Which is rare in and of itself. I thought I dug these out already. No such a thing existed oh it does and he is really good
Yeah, but Spanish Prisoner, if you're into, like, I guess it would be a thriller, kind of. Uh, you should check that out. Really good movie. South Park video game stream? What are you talking about? Would I in the entertain the idea of doing South Park the video game? Probably not. Trespassing here. I strongly suggest you move along. No. You will find him on the deck. Any hint of treachery, and your life is forfeit. That's fair, I guess. Hello. Give me the map. Leave at once. Do not test me, or I promise that you will regret it. So you know my purpose here, then. I suppose you must have found that dullard of a blacksmith. Unfortunately for you, my mission here is also a secret. To protect it, I have no choice but to silence you. Now, give me one good reason that I should not kill you where you stand. I don't have one. I can see that is no idle threat. Very well. We will depart the island once we have loaded the ship. No weapon is worth dying for. Not even a weapon forged from Stalrin. Here, give this map to the blacksmith. I have no further need of it. I'm taking your stuff. You only got 15 gold on you, that's fine. Oh, I didn't even see your question. Never heard of it. Hey, Mom, how are you? Now, I didn't want the mace. Hey, I remember this place. Hey, I was able to pick up the ring this time. Yay! I couldn't get that last time. Is that any... Is that a fancy ring at all? I didn't see what it was. Could have been, could have not been. Tomorrow is travel day? Will you be safe and have fun? 
Cappy and I went to go get our flu shots today. First time I've ever had a flu shot that I can remember. You got yours first week of October? Hey, it's these guys. What up? I killed your leaders. I don't know what you guys are still here for. Writ of execution for me. Well, yeah, good luck with that. Well, I'm, I've never really gotten one, not because I don't think they're useful or, or worth it or anything like that, just because I don't hardly ever get sick. Like, I get sick maybe once every three or four years. And so I always felt like it was kind of useless, but map updated. Stalkrim source. Place a marker there. Is that the place I was at? I hope I hope I don't get it. Yeah, I, I hope I don't get it either. No, that's not the place I was just at. Where was I then? Was I like here at White Ridge Barrow, maybe? All right, let's see if we can get over there. Thanks, bear. I hate fighting those things. You made that a lot easier for me. Looks like we're heading in the right direction, at least.
Come on, get up the get up the mountain. Hey, all right. Making progress. Yeah, this is the same place I was just at. But all the Stalherm is back again. Oh no, it's not. Okay. So I find the source of Stalherm twice. I guess we're good. Sounds like John's a liar. <laughs> Be careful you don't fall, Mer. Boo, Mom! Yeah, it is a little weird. Well, in all in all fairness to Talon, the um the the flu shot is an assistance to help prevent you from getting the flu, but it also isn't a 100% guarantee either. You can get the flu shot and then still catch the flu like the, a month later. It should just be less severe. Yeah, it should be less severe. You don't think that... Do you think the game is almost done, Mer? <laughs> oh my god, Mom. Mom is on fire today. What's the deal? Hey, hold on. Let me steal this stuff, okay, guys? And yeah, the game is almost done. Depending on how quickly I go through this, I'll probably finish it tonight, maybe? I've had the flu a couple of times. Uh, you remember when I had the flu when I came back from Houston for work? Yeah. Oh, oh. And what was odd is the times you've had the flu, I've never gotten sick from you. Yeah, you don't get sick from me when I have it, which is really strange. Because I get sick very easily. Yeah. Yeah, I had the flu one year, and, uh... Hello? Okay, we'll do it this way. I had the flu one year, and it was really bad. Like... I... I basically... I, it was so bad, I called in sick to work. That's, that's how bad it is. Like, I don't call in sick to work. I mean, I would now, because, you know, COVID and all that stuff, but... For the longest time, I had prided myself on never having to call in sick to work. And I was out, like, I hadn't been sick at work in, like, six or seven years. And then I call in sick one day, and I'm out for, like, four days. <laughs> and then I went back to work, and they were like, holy crap, we thought you died. <laughs> and I was like, I felt like I was dying. <laughs> Like, I'd be sitting here at my computer just relaxing, watching YouTube videos or whatever, and, um, uh, I'd be, 
I'd be really, really cold, so I'd put on a hoodie or whatever. And then, within seconds of putting the hoodie on, I would be drenched in sweat. And I felt like I was boiling alive. And then I would take all my clothes off and I'd be sitting here in my underwear or whatever. And the apartment is like 65 degrees and I'm just sweating like nothing else. And I felt like I was, I felt like I constantly had diarrhea and needed to throw up, but couldn't do either. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm remembering this and I'm like, oh. And meanwhile, I was like, yeah, I feel fine. Yeah, and Cappy's over there just like, I'm sorry, you feel so bad. <laughs> And I'm just like, oh, God, kill me. <laughs> oh. And that lasted for like three days. And then I just took another day off afterwards. Because I was like, I've gotten almost no sleep. <laughs> I'm like, I'm taking another day off. They're like, wow, you had a lot of time off. And I was all like, no, I didn't. <laughs> it is good to see you again, my friend. Did you find the elves at their ship? I did. I know you faced great danger to bring this map to me. There are no words to tell how glad my heart is. Thank you, brave one. I name you friend of the skull, and I will trust you with the knowledge of forging the stall. If you bring Stalrim here to my forge, and use my tools to make what you will from it. Until our next meeting, Skull Friend. May your hunts always bring you game, and your crops grow tall and bountiful. I heard from Dior how you went in search of Baldor. That was very brave, and in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. Oh, you're done. I heard from Dior how you went in search of Baldor. That was very brave. And in fact, that's just the kind of courage I'm looking for. Quite right. Quite right. This, however, is paying work. Allow me to explain. As a scholar of history, I've always found source time to be most intriguing. I've made many forays into the ancient ruins that cover the island. I've come to know those ruins so well, I could draw you a map. That's why I noticed the new passage the moment I laid eyes on it. An old tomb, I think. It must have been opened by an earthquake that accompanied one of the Red Mountain's eruptions. I'd love to have a closer look. Those old ruins can be dangerous, and I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be heading back there soon. If you're interested, meet me at the ruins, and we'll see what we can find. Now I'm off to pack for the expedition. Okay. You watched a guy that transitioned from female to male and he claims that getting sick is really different for the two different sexes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's like a like a definite thing. My son and I gather items. Perhaps one of them will want to learn the way. For many years now, I have attended to stop. I am sorry, but my duty is to my people right now. I mean, beyond, obviously, beyond the health issues that can only afflict men and women dependent on the kind of, you know, organs they have. Um, I'm pretty sure it's well documented that women get certain kinds of diseases far more frequently than men and, and vice versa. And there's severity differences. Yeah, and severity differences. It's like the same thing where, like, COVID affects men worse than Oh yeah, COVID affects men way worse than women. It's like twice as as impactful on a me on a on men than it is on women or something like that. I don't know the number, but
Talk to Tharsten. Hey, buddy. Remarkable, isn't it? This tomb has been hidden for... Well, who knows how long? I've had a look around, and the only interesting thing I've found is this inscription here, the switch below. Now, I'm not sure if you can read the dragon language, but this seems to be a riddle of some sort. A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. I wonder what it means. Mind your step. There seem to be some corpses strewn about on the floor here. Do 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 do. I wonder if this fire pit has anything to do with the river. You go ahead and see what you can figure out. I look around and see if I can find anything of use. Do 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 do. Discovery of great significance. We'll be remembered for this. Yeah, there was a study um, a while back about this dude that um, this guy who who they discovered is immune to AIDS. And they were going to study the dude to see if they could figure out to, uh, a way to get a cure. Okay, I'm going to stack up a whole bunch of bodies on that. Opened up the doors. Okay. We're going to go to the left first. I don't know why. But I've decided left. Where'd he go? He didn't die, did he? We'll pretend like he's still alive and keep going. I get the feeling he's one of those NPCs that can't die. to these pillars. Three pillars surrounding the center. Perhaps they're connected somehow. They also have glowing stones of some kind at the top. They look vaguely similar to drawings I've seen of objects called impact stones. Well, okay. Well, see what you can figure out. I'm going to inspect these pillars further to see if I can do it. Ah, that's the trick. 
All right. I can't help but wonder if this place has some connection to the history of this bar. Okay. And then this is a staff. All right, hold on, buddy. I gotta drop some of this junk, okay? Wow, he shouted me in the next week, didn't he? Can you shout me into 2021? Boom. Amethyst Claw left half. Loyal Battle Fury. Let's have a closer look at these runes. These runes have faded a bit, but I believe I can translate the inscription. The writing describes a guardian who defeated someone named Mirak. In fact, if I'm reading this correctly, it says that Mirak was a traitor. Most interesting. I mean, that, ch that checks out. There's probably an exit through one of these sarcophagi. Let's get moving. All right, here's hoping this loops back around to the center room. Because now we need to go to the other side and get the right half of the amethyst claw. Look at this! Bad guy! Oh, Fox, I'm hungry! my weight 436 walking in these chambers is like walking in the past Well, that was easy.
Valor. another wall with dragon language inscriptions on it. Let's find out what's written here. This writing refers to a guardian who inspired both men and dragons. I wonder if the guardian was himself a man or a dragon. It looks like a secret entrance opened up along the wall. You lead the way. Yeah, it did. It does seem to have held up pretty well, doesn't it? is to die. Well, at least it's straightforward. There appears to be a switch of some kind. By the nine, I've never seen it. Well, that's kind of neat. Barred from the other side. Nice. Is the dude coming? Oh, here he comes. Do I have a completed amethyst claw now? No. Some sort of key. 
Maybe those half claws you found would fit in here if you put them together. It seems these rings can be moved. Perhaps there's enough undamaged text in these etchings to tell us the combination. Ah, yes. Here's something. The first one has to do with a breeze. Or maybe it's wind. The second one mentions the night sky and the moon. And the third has something to do with fire. It also seems to mention scales. Is someone there? Is that dude hauling ass out of here? It's like, fuck this, I'm out! I guess he's not coming. Hold on a second. Let's save right here. Oh! Well, that's awesome. That guy did not have a mask. Yo, what's up, big kid? Wait, are you Tom Hanks? All right, I think that's it. All right, let's go see if we can pick up that piece of dragon bone I dropped along the way. It'll make me slow getting out of here, but that's okay. I don't really need the dragon bone either. I have a ton. I'm curious as to what these, the, all these doors are barred. I guess they're if you fall down, there's probably entrances to get back up. Is there anything else I can reduce my weight? I need to reduce by 10 pounds. Better version of Tom Hanks? Noise. Now I'm trying to remember what Tom Hanks' son's name was. Seven pounds. Uh, you know what? Let's drop one dragon scale. That'll do it. Colin. Are you Colin Hanks? <laughs> Stupid. Alright, where's this guy at? Thurston? What's your name? I don't remember what this guy's name is. Hey buddy, we're done. Are you okay? How amazing! A real dragon priest! In all my years as a historian, I never thought I'd see anything like that. 
I suppose that was Valak. He must have had this entire place built for him so that he could maintain his vigil, even beyond death. Indeed. I knew that the Dragon Priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will, but I had no idea. Well, I suppose I've seen everything I came for, and you kept up your end of the bargain. I promised payment, and here it is. Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word war. What a book this will make! Uh, it's not... This isn't necessarily a mod, this is DLC. I have mods, uh, but this this is particular thing is just the DLC quest. Uh, if you do exclamation point mods, I'll, you'll get a, a detailed list of all the mods I'm using, though. Okay, let us... Let us head north. We'll go back to the Skull Village. Which I think is also just called Skull. And I'll go drop this stuff off at my house. And then we'll come back. That way I don't have a weight limit problem again. You want some? Come on. Get wrecked, nerds. Oh no, I did this before. right there needs to get fixed all right so from skull village we'll go back to skyrim and then we'll go to my house Drop off some easy junk. Uh, sort by damage. Let's get rid of those. Iron arrows. Do do do. We'll get rid of that mace. Uh, sort by weight. Chitin armor of the eminent knight. No. Major magicka. I want to keep the Morag Tong stuff. Sure grip, sure grip. Okay. Got a bunch of books. Any spell books? Yeah, a couple. Okay. Now this is one of the mods. This house is not in the game normally. Uh, let's drop off leather. Okay. Gemstones. Ingots. Uh, sorry, I, I forgot you were <laughs> that, <laughs> that is amazing. I like how you're like, I just forgot you were streaming. Now you're so embarrassed. I am. I just tuned you out and I forget. <laughs> yeah. 
it's getting all red. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh man. That was great. At least it wasn't the other end. Don't tempt her, she'll do it. Alright, what was the other thing I had? Oh, I, ha I had the, the, the Amethyst Claw. Right. Left. Nice. So I'm missing the glass and the coral. Which, you know, all things considered, it's not the end of the world. I'm missing Mirax Bust. I'll have that soon enough. Uh, I can drop the Heartstones. I'm at 213. I guess I've picked up some extra oceans. I've also got books I can drop. Let's go put down some books. Uh, journals? Nope. Bunch of notes, though. Let's drop the notes. Amazing to see you again. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Well, I didn't want to do that. There's all the black books, though. Hey, sorry about the Can earthquake. Ask anything of me, love. Cool, thanks. Uh, 210. Yeah, I guess it's the potions, man. How much does this heal me for? 61. This heals me for 75. Let's do this. I'll dump the lower end potions away and then we'll call the hot the the mid potions four what, what extreme healing is what I've been using that's 150 health you know what we'll stick with that for now and then the others whoops we'll put the other on Three, I guess? I don't use three for anything else. Okay. So that, that got us under 200, 183. That's awesome. All right. So now we'll go back to Solsheim. Whoa! Hey guys, there's a dragon skeleton in your boat. There's a snake in my boot. It's a little more extreme though. I hope that's not going to cause you guys any problems. Because I'm just going to leave it there. Did I have any more missions, or is that it? No, that's basically it. Talk to Storn. For many years now, I have attended to Storn. You must talk to Storn then. As Shaman, he is the keeper of such lore. 
I have learned some of what he knows, but it is not my place to divulge anything to an outsider. You will not convince me to betray Storm's trust. Talk to him. He will decide the matter. So, the dragons have returned. Well, the Skull have survived worse. Hermaeus Mora. Old Herma Mora himself. So he is the source of Nirak's power. Of course. We have many tales of Herma Mora trying to trick us into giving up our secrets to him. And now he comes again for what we have long kept from him. So it falls to me to be the one to give up the secrets to our ancient enemy. I do not know if I have the strength to face him. The Three Stone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. You're doing biology homework right now, and you uh, do you know what homeostasis is? Yes, that is... The loss of homeostasis is the cause of every death. 100% of all human deaths. Loss of homeostasis. It's... It's, it's true. <laughs> Yes. The Skull also tell of the day when we must finally give up our secrets. When Herma Mora finally wins. As Shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets, but also to decide when it is necessary to give them up. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, May my ancestors forgive me. Give me the book. I will read it and speak to old Herma Mora myself. I will make sure he lives up to his part of the bargain. That is my hope as well. I am trusting that you will make this sacrifice worthwhile. Father, you must not do this. That book is wrong, evil. Against everything you have taught me my whole life. I must pray. It is the only way to free Source Time forever from Iraq's shadow. There comes a time when everything must change. Nothing that lives remains the same forever. Do not fear for me, my daughter. This is the destiny that the Old Maker has laid out for me. I stand beside you, Father. As always. I am ready for whatever the foul master of this book has in store for me. Be either a worthy opponent or his 
successor as the tides of fate. What have you done? Go. My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak and lift his master's shadow from the land. Go then. Kill Mirak. Do not fail. Okay, bye. Bend will is what I want, okay? I think he knew what would happen. He saw his death in that book. Bro, bro, lay down, lay down normal. Okay. Do not let his death be for nothing. Go and stop Mirak. Read Waking Dreams. Do I have to read it over there? Or can I just read it here? Use the bend will shout to tame Sharotar. Hold on, I gotta wait for my... Will you, could you not attack me, please? Oh. No, stop that. Oh. Why, why is that going away? Why is that deselecting? I don't understand. Uh. Like it doesn't like the number three for some reason. Hey, buddy. Could, could you not? God, this shot takes forever to recharge. I should reload instead of waiting. Eh, it's fine. I have way too many potions anyway, so this is an excuse for me to go through my potions. Okay, we're done. Now, now land again. Because I'm not going to shout into the air a second time. That'll work.
Not Call of Valor. This one, Bend, Bend Will. Oh. Which is the one that gave me armor? Is it Bend Will that did that? Become ethereal, that wasn't it. Call dragon, no. I think this is it, dragon aspect. All the others don't sound accurate, okay. Vigorous healing. Let's put vigorous on four. Okay. When riding a dragon, you can lock onto a nearby target and attack it with magic. You can also command the dragon to attack your target. Fast travel while riding a dragon by using your world map. Ooh, this guy tough? Glad I killed the Seekers first. You gotta go study? Alright man, we'll see you later. should kill him. This dragon's a little derpy. Now I will be free of him. 
My time in Apocrypha is over. You are here in your full power, and thus subject to my full power. You will die, and with the power of your soul, I will return to Soul's time and be master of my own fate once again. To think to escape me, Mirak. You can hide nothing from me here. No matter. I have found a new dragon born to serve me. May he be rewarded for his service, as I am. <sighs> Mira, harbored fantasies of rebellion against me. Your an easy example. Serve me faithfully, and you will continue to be richly rewarded. I'm gonna get over over encumbered, aren't I? Picking up all this stuff. No, I'm not. Hey, look at that. Convenient. Ah, this is where you can come and re reset all your perks. Oops. So if there's something you didn't like dumping points into, you can get them back. I think we're good for now. Morla from the never-ending story? Who was Morla? The god creature. I don't recog I don't recognize that one. I can feel it. The tree stone is free again. The oneness of the land is restored. Does that mean is it over? Is Mirak defeated? Oh, yeah, the giant turtle. Okay, the one that sneezes on on what's-his-name a whole bunch. Thank you. What 
whatever your other reasons for acting, you have done the Skull a great service. We will not forget what you have done. One more thing, Skull friend. If you will. I know it is not my place, but... May I offer a word of advice? Of warning? As Shaman of the Skull, I am charged with the spiritual well-being of my people. While you are not of the Skull, you are Skull friend. And so I give you this warning. Hermamora forced you to serve him in order to defeat Mirak. Do not let him lure you further down the path. The Allmaker made you Dragonborn for a higher purpose. Do not forget that. Walk with the Allmaker, Skull friend. My father was a noble man. I will follow you, Skull friend, but I must return to the village after. My heart is still heavy with the loss of my father. Very well. You're carrying a bunch of my stuff. Actually, keep carrying it. Let's go home. Good. Yay, I beat Mirak! Oh, now she's wearing the armor too. Cool. Come here, let's go inside. I must drop off items. Man, Mr. Big Kid took a uh, chose the wrong time to leave. <laughs> he left, and then we beat the game like ten minutes later. You face danger without hesitation. Very well. Uh, no, I wanted to keep you on the stall room axe. Did I have a neck piece I had given you? Clothing. Jewelry. I guess not. Type amulet. Yeah, I guess I didn't. Okay. Let us go. First things first, let me dump off all these dragon bones. That'll enable me to walk again. All right, cool. Gemstones. Or. So I'm curious why the um here the smithing I don't need. Um I'm curious as to why the game won't like the uh the hotkeys don't work properly for that. That's very strange. Put Mirax stuff up. What does this equipment do? 5% to the Dragon Breath and Spell Absorption of Mirax Robes. 5% to Dragon Breath. Okay. Absorb 15% magic from Dragon Breath and Spells. Chance on hit to spawn a tentacle explosion. What does the mask do? Increase magic by 70. Okay. 
So nothing like insane, just, oh, that's neat, you know, that kind of thing. And his sword absorbs 15 points of stamina. East Grimoire's shield will need to get moved. I'll put, you know what, I'll put East Grimoire's shield up here. Put not that Mirax staff and sword go in there. What is this I just picked up? Gloves or something? Sanguine go gloves of light of of lock picking. Black books can be put away. Let's see here. A uh, hunting bow and iron dagger and the great sword, as well as. That's it, actually. We'll put Mirak's mask away. to see you again. Just Mirac removed. Not his mask. Him. And I have another... I have a duplicate black book. Hmm. Alright, well I guess I'll put it on this shelf then. Cannot be removed from my inventory. Interesting. Permanent black book now. Okay. What's my weight at? 187. Not bad. It is good to see more of the world. Very well. She's only got what she needs. Let us go. Man, that's basically it. All right. Well, that's me beating Skyrim for a second time. Cool. I guess that's it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah. So we're going to finish Skyrim there. That's going to be the end of it as far as I'm concerned. Um, if you guys want to stick around for a minute or two, let me switch games to something else. And uh, we'll play that. So hang tight and I'll be right back, everybody. <laughs>